Hi there, we're here at the Veterinary Center today and we're doing a dental surgery. Um, we're going to be removing some teeth that are infected from a rabbit, pebbles, who you'll meet in a minute. But we wanted to show you first how we found out that his teeth were infected. Um, he had some swelling along his jawline and we took an x-ray and this is what we saw. This is Pebbles' head and he's facing this way. And you can see these are his better teeth. They're nice and smooth, but if you look up here, um, this tooth looks very fuzzy on an x-ray, and particularly these are his incisor teeth. You can see they, they look normal up front, but as you look toward the root, which is underneath the, the gum line here, they're very, very fuzzy. That's something that happens when they become infected. So that tooth is going to come out. He's broken off this tooth here. This tooth is going to come out, and this bottom tooth is going to come out, and hopefully will prevent them from becoming more infected and spreading um, abscess to the rest of his jaw. So that's what we're starting with, and now we're going to show you exactly what we're going to do to get him to the point that we can take out those infected teeth. So here we are trying to um, get a tube placed in his airway. And at the veterinary center, we intubate bunnies, meaning we put a tube down their trachea or their airway because it, it makes it much easier for us to monitor them, to breathe for them under anesthesia. Um, and we've given him a little sedation, and we have a special instrument here now called a, an endoscope, which basically is a camera at the end of a metal rod. And first we're going to just give him a little bit of gas um, via mask here to get him to be sedate and calm. And then when he's completely out, we will use the scope to help us place the endotracheal tube, which is the breathing tube, into his trachea, in his airway, so that we can maintain him under anesthesia very safely for the period of time that we need to, to take out his infected teeth. So Melissa here is just checking his, his tone of his tongue to see how sedate he is, and when he's ready, we will be um, passing that tube down there. So now she's getting the scope ready. And we use the help of a video screen that Melissa is going to look at in the background. Um, you can see it, it's just behind Peggy. There's Peggy holding the bunny. But she's looking down in the airway. And um, maybe we can give you a better idea of what it looks like down there by looking at the screen. And we are seeing the airway right there. It's very hard to see. And without the help of the scope, it's almost impossible to see. Um, and now we're going to watch as Melissa passes the tube in the mouth alongside the scope and finds the airway and manages to place the tube safely into the airway. The risk with this is that if you don't have a scope and you can't visualize the airway, uh, rabbits will spasm, their, their airways will spasm and they close up. So now you can see the tube is in the airway very safely and the anesthesia machine is attached. And the benefit to this is not only is it safer to have the rabbit intubated or have the tube down his throat in case he stops breathing or his depth of anesthesia changes so that he either starts to wake up and we need to make him go down under anesthesia a little more or we need to lighten his anesthesia, we can do that with the help of the tube and adjusting how much anesthesia he's getting and regulating the flow of oxygen. But it's not only safer, but it also enables us to keep his mouth open, which is very important in this case because this rabbit is here to have a dental surgery. Um, Melissa is just clipping his leg right now to pass a catheter into his leg so we can have access to his veins um, to give him intravenous fluids, to give him drugs, painkillers, antibiotics, whatever we need to do uh, during the course of surgery. So um, we have that tube in there and it enables us to keep his mouth open and it uh, enables us to get to his teeth very, very readily. Um, if we didn't have the tube there, we would have to keep a little mask over his nose. And we, we are able to do that kind of surgery for short procedures. Um, rabbits are what we call obligatory nasal breathers, meaning they have to breathe through their nose. They can't really breathe through their mouth. Um, but when you need to keep their mouth open for long periods, um, if you're working in their mouth for surgery, it's really, really tough to keep that mask over their nose and to keep them under the right level of anesthesia. So having the tube in there makes it much safer and much easier. Um, Melissa is checking his heart rate. She's actually measuring it right now. Um, we're going to have him hooked up to um, a heart rate monitor to measure his rate and rhythm. This rabbit in particular has some underlying heart disease, so we're being very, very careful um, about having his monitoring going on and, and making sure he's okay. And we're going to have that intravenous catheter in, and then we'll be ready to start. 
So this is our cardiac monitor. We use this on every patient under anesthesia. It's very nice. It was designed specially for small creatures like the exotic animals we work on. Um, it Rather than having clips that clip to the animal, we actually have little loops that go around their limbs um, that actually don't pinch them as much. And this particular monitor shows us several things. Here you can see this number here is beats per minute of the heart. This second number down here is actually the respiratory rate and number of breaths per minute. Um, the third number down here is actually the rectal temperature, and there's a special little probe that goes up uh, inside the animal to tell us the temperature during the surgery. This is the electrocardiogram. You can see these are all heartbeats here, and we're watching this the whole time. We also periodically listen with a stethoscope to make sure that everything sounds complete. And um, at this point, we are going to watch everything on here as we listen. And um, you can see that this is the, the special little apparatus that connects our computer to our temperature probe and uh, that goes to the animal and actually to the electrocardiograph part here. And we have this actually blown up usually on a big screen, but we wanted to hone down on it for you here so you could see exactly what we're monitoring. Um, Isn't that enough? At this point, the technicians are still getting the animal ready for surgery and uh, what we're doing, and uh, soon we'll be ready to start surgery.